volcano research. And by the way, I get the feeling that maybe I had to actually create a volcano before I could actually do volcano research. Um, like I said, I, I might have had to mine down. There may not have been any volcanoes originally. I don't know. But anyway, though, the point was I had this volcano ship. And it was a wooden ship. It was an all-wood ship. It had thick, like, 7-inch or 8-inch wood planking going. It looked like a big, kind of like an egg. It was like a big... Had had a big steel, uh, a big wooden rib, oak wood rib, over the top, and had wood planking, thick wood planking, and everything it was really thick, really big, and it was like a big, look kind of like this, and then kind of had like a top, and it could be sealed, and uh, and and it could be rowed or something like that. I forget how they how they did it. I think it could be rowed. This was way back when. There's no record of this apparently. Anyway though, I had my volcano research ship, and I always wanted to get air samples of a volcano eruption. And I was waiting and waiting and waiting. I had my ship in the water and it would be towed to location to the location behind another ship, I think, or something like that. And I was waiting and waiting and waiting for a volcano to blow up. And I thought, oh, I'm never going to be able to research a volcano. It was like that. <laughs> I was a child and I was like, I'm never going to be able to get my first biocaustic flow research. It was like that. <laughs> it was like, I was waiting. I built the. I spent like, I, I spent like the equivalent of like a million dollars on this ship. It was carved. It was wood. It was thick. It was beginning to rot. I was waiting so long. It was, it was in the water and it was waiting, and it was starting to rot. So I had to put them put it on dry land, and they could just be rolled into the water, and and it might have rotted away because I had to wait so long. I think I actually had to create a volcano, maybe. I don't know. Anyway, though, I was waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting for my first volcano explosion. There wasn't one. Anyway, I thought I would have to wait forever before I could get air samples of a volcano. Anyway, so I think the original wooden one rotted away. It was never used. We finally got steel. Anyway, finally, after forever... And there was even a volcano. I think eventually there was a volcano. And then I put this big... And I might have had to actually detonate a nuclear bomb just to get the damn volcano to get up. Because I wanted to see lava. And there wasn't any lava. So, anyway though. And if there's not any lava, I had to create lava. And I don't know if I, if I actually had to dig down, uncork the earth. I might have had to. All I remember is I was waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting and... Didn't know what was inside the earth, didn't know what lava was, waiting forever. Anyway, um, finally, finally, um, I got word of my first eruption. Everything was ready. I had a temple, I had my ships, I think I had an ironclad in the harbor. Everything was set. It was going to blow. And, um, and so we were, we were all waiting and went, and the doors were sealed. I think there was a mine shaft too to get out or something by then. Anyway, I got everything ready because there was a volcano and we knew it could probably blow up. We didn't know when. So I was waiting and I had a small group of people there and we had underground rooms and it was a research lab there and they were doing all kinds of other stuff. And I was like, okay, if it blows up, this is what we're going to do. So anyway, there was a routine all set up. Everything was set up. There's a road out. There's a little railing or something. And I think the railing rotted away like 100 years ago or 200 years ago. Anyway, they kept it for the longest time. But people could, could like grip along. They didn't have to see. Anyway, and then they could go out and go and get in a little boat. There's a little like a little protected thing, a little stone building, I think, too, and everything. We had everything set up. It was all ready because I was waiting forever. <laughs> I was waiting forever, literally. I was like, I think I waited like 300 years. Seriously. It was 300 years. And I finally got my first volcano research. And I was so excited. And it was like a well, monumental day. And like, you know, every, the routines were all set up. Everything was set up. And we got our first air samples. Yay! First air samples of volcanic ash. Anyway, um, I thought I'd have to wait forever. And anyway, though, so there was no parties that were stuck out in the cold or anything like that. They all we built railings, we had ropes, we had everything. Uh, I had ropes laid on the ground in case 
So if people, you know, if people couldn't find their way, I think we might have used hemp ropes, thick hemp ropes that couldn't be blown or burned away. And they were tied to trees or something like that. But I had everything all set up to where, to where the people could run to the safety shelters, then they could feel their way along with the ropes, and they could get to the stone underground thing, take the little, roll the little thing out to the ironclad, and get out of there. Everything was set up. So, you know, I had to wait 300 years. <laughs> And you can get a lot done in 300 years, by the way. So, but anyway, though, but we got it. We got our research. So anyway, um, and then that was the monumental day of the first pyroclastic flow research. So anyway, there's there's temples, there's hardened buildings. Everything was set up. There was a road. There was an underground thing. There was an ironclad waiting in the water. There's two ironclads, actually, one at so many feet away from the volcano and one at another distance from a volcano. So anyway... Um, we knew that it would blow, we just didn't know when exactly, and it finally blew, so, and then we got our samples. I wish they were, you, you could go to the thing and see, like, this is the first flow of the, 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 the these are the air samples of the first pyroclastic flow. Anyway, years later, later though, it almost became a routine, it's like, yay, another volcano, research! Anyway, yeah, so, um, so yeah, anyway though, but, but, um, we did that a lot back in the day, so... And I think I might have had to had to actually create my first volcano. I'm not sure. Like, I don't know. I mean, I did a lot of mining first, and then finally, um, we might have had to create our first volcano. And then once we created our first volcano, then we got more volcanoes. I'm not exactly sure. Exactly. I mean, it was a long, long time ago, and um, and uh, a lot of things have changed since then. So, but yeah, yeah, yeah. I was so excited. Trust me. I was like. <laughs> Yay! I get to use my research ship! I had built this special research ship. I had built three of them, actually. I think I had three ironclads made, or four or five ironclads made, or maybe six. I don't know. Um, there was the first wooden boat that was never used, by the way. I waited 300 years, and it was, like, starting to decay, or something like that, or 3,000 3, years. I don't know. I built this wooden research ship. It was, like, my pride and my joy. It was sealable. It was everything, and it never got used. Anyway, so, but, um, but anyway, um, and then, and then I had the ironclads and everything else like that, so, there really, you know, it wasn't, you know, it wasn't all that, <laughs> so anyway, um, <laughs> we actually did launch a little wooden pod boat into the, into the water, I mean, into the lava to see how long it would last, one time, too. That's another thing that, 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 that was off record that no one knows about. We took a wooden boat. I think I might have get, get given my research boat of um, of a Valhalla send off. I uh, we took it. I mean, uh, we knew that it was too hot to get near a volcano. So um, so so what we did is we um, we we just dropped it into the lava. We might have sent someone kind of in in there, and then they they, they went down about halfway and realized it was too hot, and they pulled got pulled out. So, and there might have been something about the ropes burning or starting to burn or something. But we used water, I think, back then. I mean, there's a lot of stuff. We got really close to, to, to lava. Um, we were trying to get a sample of the pool. And so there's a lot of stuff like that. So, but anyway, though, but my wooden boat, I think what I did was, was we launched it into the, wa into the lava and let it sit. <laughs> and they wrote down how long it last, lasted. <laughs> I actually gave three or four ships of uh, uh, Valhalla send-offs where we went bloop. <laughs> into the lava. I think I launched three ships into the lava. Um, one of them would use a ramp or whatever. I was like, go ship, get get those air samples, get that temperature reading. Yeah, I just, I just kind of wanted to see how long the the, the metal would uh, would last and all that other stuff. I mean, and and they were old ships anyway; they weren't really needed anymore. And you know, I mean, it's just like a little bit of metal. So anyway, um, I I put a wooden one in there. I put a steel one inside of a volcano. Um, and uh, they're they're doing they're taking temperature readings and some other stuff. I think which we could have gotten anyway, but. Um, there might have been been a little capsule with a guy in there. You know, he went down a ways, and then he got a sample from the pool using this little, like, capsule thingy, which he opened up a hatch and, went, and pulled up a sample from the lava pool using a big crane or something like that. I forget. It was a long time ago. There's a lot of stuff that happened back then. We did a lot of research and stuff. 
Anyway, though, it wasn't like what they say in the movies. It wasn't that archaic. It was just like today almost, except, you know, it wasn't quite so, um, you know, advanced. You know, and, and I was a lot richer. So, anyway. Just frustrating.